Farmers and landowners are working hard to adapt to changing weather and crop patterns. Agrivoltaics, the combination of solar or photovoltaics, and agriculture is a rapidly expanding practice that landowners are taking advantage of across the country. If you're interested in increasing the reliability and revenue from your land, stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. I'm Angela Burke and this is Going Solar with Pivot Energy, where we cover all things solar energy, commercial solar, solar financial incentives, and community solar. By 2050, over 10 million acres of land in the U.S. will be occupied by solar farms. Many farmers and landowners are hesitant about leasing to solar developers because they believe it will negatively impact their ability to grow crops or to host animals. But this is not the case at all. In fact, with agrivoltaics, the next generation of farmers will be able to thrive more than ever before. With agrivoltaics, farmers can combine agriculture and solar energy production on the same piece of land. This relationship produces clean energy, bountiful crops, soil remediation, pollinator habitat growth, and cost-effective vegetation control from grazing animals. Each agrivoltaic setup is unique, and the designs are catered to the logistical needs of each landowner. You can learn more about how it works in this video. Now let's dive into how farmers can benefit from agrivoltaics. Agrivoltaics make financial and environmental sense for many landowners. As a result of climate change and the ever-growing power of massive agricultural corporations, small and mid-sized farms across the U.S. are facing a remarkable struggle to turn profits and sustainably harvest crops. As soil erodes from droughts, extreme temperatures, over-tilling, and saturation of pesticides and fertilizers, it's become nearly impossible for many farmers to make enough money to sustain their businesses. In fact, a recent study by the Department of Agriculture found that nearly half of all fields in the U.S. have at least one soil resource concern. So how does solar play into all of this? Well, numerous studies have found that within two years of installation, solar panels increase soil moisture by approximately 90%, and they improve water efficiency by nearly 330%. If those numbers made your jaw drop, give this video a thumbs up. Within a relatively short amount of time after installing solar, your land can become plentiful again, with revitalized soil bringing opportunities for rapid growth of new and existing native plants, crops, pollinator habitats, animal grazing, and a decreased reliance on irrigation and fertilizers. When solar panels are installed on your land as a part of a land lease agreement, the electricity is fed into the local energy grid and you receive a fixed rental income in return. It's very similar to renting out a building or a home, but on a much larger scale. Plus, local communities are able to subscribe to the solar energy being produced, which in turn lowers their electricity bills. Additionally, as the solar host, you can also subscribe to the energy produced by the system on your parcel. This means that in addition to your rental income, you can also receive a discount on your utility bill every month. It's a win-win. Our video on the benefits of community solar for landowners is linked below, so check that out after this one. All right, let's move on to the next benefit, habitat creation for endangered species. The importance of pollinator habitats cannot be understated. Over 80% of plants need pollinators, like bees, butterflies, and birds, in order to grow. These animals are also crucial for soil and water health, but unfortunately, many of them are facing dwindling populations due to climate change. By planting native seed mixes alongside ground-mounted solar projects, agrivoltaics creates thriving habitats for pollinators, invigorating the symbiotic relationship necessary for successful agriculture and land stewardship. For example, Pivot Solar Farm projects in the Midwest are seeded with a mix of native fescue plants and ryegrasses. These plants grow at low heights and are non-invasive, allowing for pollinator habitat growth that does not prevent sunlight from reaching the panels. Alongside grasses and flowers, bee colonies can also be hosted at solar sites. Beekeepers can secure an additional stream of revenue from selling the honey and beeswax produced at the farm, and the flowers love it too. Recently, Pivot partnered with a local apiary to install 20 beehives at our solar farm in Aurora, Colorado. Adding beehives to our projects improves the health of the vegetation under the panels. Plus, it makes for an exciting field trip for students who visit the site to learn more about solar and farming. You won't want to miss our upcoming video about this new installation, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when 
we post new videos. Like I said, agrivoltaic systems are designed specifically to meet each landowner's needs. Since these grasses and flowers could technically grow so tall that they shade the solar panels, there are easy ways to control the growth. And no, it's not a mower. Panels can also be custom fitted to allow space for grazing animals, which brings me to the next benefit of solar agrivoltaics. By employing agrivoltaics on your land, you can retire harsh chemical pesticides and fossil fuel powered mowers. Vegetation management can be easily achieved with grazing animals like sheep and cattle. Since they are self-sufficient, introducing them into the solar farm is a low cost way to manage your land and even increase crop production since their manure acts as a natural fertilizer. And because solar panels are fully self-contained and not harmful to living species, they're perfectly compatible with farm animals. Our video about solar myths goes goes in depth on the science and safety of these arrays. So check that out if you're interested in learning more. At Pivot, several farmers have told us that without the benefits of grazing animals on their land, their multi-generational family-owned businesses would have collapsed within a short amount of time. One farmer here in Colorado even shared with us that with solar contract grazing with his sheep herd, he's able to see a sustainable model for his family farm for the long term. Almost all land with solar panels is suitable for grazing, which is why sheep have become a core part of our agrivoltaics model here at Pivot Energy. And as if there couldn't be any more benefits Benefits, wool production can create an additional revenue stream for farmers. Solar farms are gifts that keep on giving. When you partner with a solar developer like Pivot, we ensure that your land will be left in the same or better condition than we found it. As environmental and people conscious solar developers, Pivot takes on projects with the utmost care and we will work with you to ensure that your land is cared for responsibly. We work with United Agrivoltaics, an organization that covers insurance for small farmers and provides education, support, and signage to use on site. Plus, since we are members of the American Solar Grazing Association, we also contract one-on-one -on -one with other grazers to bring animals onto your solar farm. If you want to get started on your own agrivoltaics project, we can help. Just head to pivotenergy.net to get started. If you have any questions, reach out to me using my email listed in the description or leave a comment below. If this video taught you something new about agrivoltaics, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to stay updated on all things commercial solar, community solar, and solar financing. See you next time.